Hey, San Antonio, this is Rob for the Metalworks. Today I'm here out at the Verizon Wireless to support a killer as tour, and it brings me great pleasure to welcome one of the most distinctive voices in rock, and yes, a true vocal legend. Brings me great pleasure to mark the return of Mr. Jeff Tate to the program. How are you doing, Jeff? Hey, I'm surviving. <laughs> You're looking good, man. Oh, thanks. There's um, there's a lot to talk about, and I, want, I really want to jump in because there's already been a lot of publicity about um, and talk about uh, your next release, even though it's still six months away. Um, talk a little bit about, um, before we jump into Operation Mind Crime 2, talk a little bit about um, Mind Crime 1, because there's a lot of young viewers out there, maybe who aren't that familiar with the, the Mind Crime theme or, or the concept behind the release. Can you just touch a little bit on the original Mind Crime and, and, where, and, and eventually as we talk about the new one so they know what's going on? Yeah. Um, you know, the original Mind Crime was written uh, during the... Uh, late 80s and um, it's a story of a terrorist and um, what happens to him and uh, sort of the organization that uh, brings him in to do the work and um, it was an album that uh, seemed to spark with a lot of uh, imagination with a lot of people and um, being times what they are now they're sort of uh, similar to the times when the original was written and so we've uh, been inspired to uh, come back with a sequel. Uh, there's there's obviously a lot of religious overtones and and a lot of commentary or social commentary about um, uh, things that were happening at this time that are probably just as relevant or even more so relevant uh, now in the new millennium I would say so I mean there's still a, a lot of relation to those themes as well. Oh yeah, I don't think things have changed very much, really. You know, I, I think uh, you know, as human beings, we kind of uh, change rather slowly, and we might think that uh, you know we surround ourselves with technology, and we think, oh, things are so different now. But really, you know, under the skin, things are very much the same, and and, and we learn our lessons very slowly, and and so do the characters in this story. They uh, they the years go by, and um, they find themselves in similar situations, and. And what's interesting is how they react to them being uh, uh, apparently older and wiser. We'll see. It's been, um, you mentioned that the, the original Mind Crime came out in, in 98, so it's, it's almost, I mean, close to the 20-year mark now that the, the sequel is coming out. Why now, um, after all this time, what got the wheels turning again to, to return to, to the concept of Mind Crime? Well, a couple things. Um, you know, one, uh, the times that we're in right now, uh, the, the political government that's in place, the sort of uh, you know censorship that's going on in our country now on a, on a deep level, um, you know, with our news being uh, not independent, you know, the way it's supposed to be, but we actually have you know news agencies that are actually mouthpieces for our government now, which is uh, completely un-American in my opinion. But it, it definitely mirrors the uh, the government that was in place during the late '80s when when the original Mind Crime was was uh, written. Um, there's a lot of similarities. There's a lot of religious persecution right now in, their, in our country. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, I think, people being, uh, realizing that um, the quality of uh, our life is, uh, you know, in an erosion period right now. And I think also for us um, as a band, you know, musically, it's a very challenging thing to go back and, and sort of see where you've been. And, um, and see if you can not, not duplicate it, but um, recapture the, the spirit of it and uh, musically take it in a new direction, which is, I think, what we've done rather well with this record. Um, it's all written now, and we're in the recording stage of it right now. And uh, there's some really incredible pieces of music on it, really um, adventurous for the band. Uh, and I'm very proud of the musicians involved taking you know, a traditional uh, musical form like metal and, and pushing it, pushing the boundaries of it. You know, I think that's very exciting. It's something that we've always tried to do with our, our stuff, but um, it's hard to do. It's hard to do that and, and get by with it, with, with the public accepting it, because so much of the public wants to keep you in a little tiny box and put a, a neat little name on you and call you something. You know, they don't allow you to stretch out and um, you know, perform outside that box very often. Uh, are you talking about, I guess, both um, videos for, for programming and then also for, for home as well? Yeah, we've got some interesting things planned for um, 
per video. There's a, a very creative guy named Rory Berger who's working with us. He's been with us for a couple of years and doing our live video and things. And uh, we have uh, quite an onslaught prepared. Cool. Um, much has already been written also about this tour and, and for the fans. Um, it, they really love the tour of Queensryche and JP. How's this tour been going so far? It's been going great. You know, we actually um, weren't planning on touring this summer, mm -hmm. and we were plan planning on finishing the record, and uh, we got the, the uh, offer from Priest, and, you know, we said, oh, gosh, we've got to take advantage of this. Um, it's a great honor to tour with these guys. They're, you know, metal legends and an uh, incredible band, just consistent every night, laying it down. And, um, you know, so we, we stopped work on the record, take the summer off, and uh, tour in North America with a Priest. It's incredible. So I, I guess that this will be the final tour uh, until you wrap up the, and then afterwards then wrapping up Mind Crime 2? Yeah, well, well I think we have some dates that we're uh, contracted to do in September. We're going to do those for about a month and then, uh, then we're off to the, I think February or March is when the, the, the new tour will go out. You guys always deliver um, something new when you go out. Um, as far as like what you're playing of, of the catalog, what can fans who were coming out tonight uh, expect from the Queensryche set? Well, for this um, tour with Priest, we thought we'd try to pull out a lot of our older stuff, that uh, like pre mind crime, you know, material that we haven't played in a long time, and and give people a little taste of what our past is, and show them that um, you know we haven't really, uh, uh, you know. I guess lost faith with that music, you know, because we haven't played it in a long time. And sometimes you get kind of onto a roll, and you know, it's nice to go back and you know rekindle some of the old stuff and pull it out and dust it off and see if it still fits, you know. And um, many of us, Jeff, are, and as we close out, I want to just also comment um, that many of us are uh, were fans of your solo release, and I remember that last time we spoke, you had commented that you were still interested in maybe doing a follow-up solo record. Do you still feel that way? And if so, when when can we anticipate maybe that seeing the light of day? Yeah, well, actually, I have most of that written. Um, it's sitting there waiting the finishing touches and um, the chance to release it. You know, with uh, you know the Queen's right record taking precedence over that right now. Probably sometime in 2007, I would guess. Cool. Jeff, any last words for the people out there in San Antonio? Anything we missed? Anything you want to share with our with our viewers out there? I would say thanks, San Antonio, for a wonderful relationship over the 24 years of the band's existence. You guys have always been there for us. Remember, San Antonio, the new one from Queensryche is coming out January 06. It's going to be called Operation Mind Crime 2. You better go out there and look for it when it comes out. If you want more information, all you have to do is go to queensryche.com. You saw the man, Jeff Tate, only right here on Rob's Metalworks.